Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. Today, I'm going to be doing my MLB Championship Ser League Championship Series predictions for the ALCS and the NLCS. Between the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers, the Texas Showdown, and the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. You would have told me the Houston Astros or Philadelphia Phillies were in the Championship Series. I would have told you, okay, that's believable. Those two teams were in the World Series last year. Um, and wouldn't surprise me at all if, you know, if they were in it this year as well. And, and now I'm talking, we're talking about like beginning of the season, but if you would have told me Texas and Arizona, the Arizona Diamondbacks would be sitting here in the championship series. I would have called you crazy. What a surprise from the Arizona Diamondbacks this year. They went 84 and 78. Nobody really had them going to the postseason, but they made it as that final seed at the sixth seed. They pay, they faced a team in the wild card of the Milwaukee Brewers, who won 92 games this season. They won eight more games than them, and were a way better team on paper and you know, just throughout the whole season. And the Diamondbacks, with both games being in Milwaukee on the road for Arizona in the playoffs in the wild card, beat Milwaukee both games. Then. They face another harder challenge when they have to face the Dodgers who won over 100 games this season in the NLDS. And then they beat them. They beat them um, in three games to none. So they've swept their way through the playoffs. They've won all five games. They've not lost a game in the playoffs. And they've been a very, very good surprise in the MLB. They're young. They have power. And they're pretty good. Um, and their pitching is not too bad either. Getting into the Texas Rangers. Um, now, I, I did expect them to make it to the playoffs somehow, but I didn't expect them, you know, you know, before the season started. I'm talking about before the season started. I expected them to make the playoffs somehow, make it in as that 6 or 5 seed, which they did make it as the 5 seed. But they were not a normal 5 seed because they were a team that probably should have won the division over the Astros, but they sold in the last series against the Seattle Mariners. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think that... Texas going into this series, you know, I don't think it's positive. I mean, obviously it's going to be positive because um, you, you're you going to go into there thinking uh, you're going to win, but you got dominated by Houston this this season. But you got to think at it as of, well, I mean, really, it wasn't just this season. They've been dominated by Houston over the last, what, five, six years. I mean, I think the Astros are like 73 and 39 against them and what is it that like the last five or seven years, something like that? They've been the Astros have been dominant over the Texas Rangers in basically the last decade, and I don't see that really changing uh, going into this series. I mean, I, I I'm not gonna say I, I want it to because I am an Astros fan, al although. Um, so basically, getting into my predictions for both of these series. Um, I'm going to try to preview these series a little bit. It's kind of hard to preview these series because um, literally the only starting pitcher that's been announced for all four teams is game one starting pitcher for the Houston Astros, and that's Justin Verlander. Texas has not an announced a game one starter, neither is Philadelphia or Arizona, and they have announced a, if they have, haven't announced a game one starter, that means they haven't announced a game two or a game three starter. So the only team to announce a game one or a game two starter are the Houston Astros announcing JV game one and Framber Valdez game two. So um, there you have it. Um, getting into my game, my series predictions, uh, we're going to go game by game. We're starting in the AL with the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. People are saying this is going to go down as one of the best AL CSs to come down in history. This might be one of the best to ever happen. I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to be the best in history because, um, there has been a lot of great American league championship series in the past, but uh, this is a great match. These are two good offenses, two really good offenses, two very solid pitching. And Astros a little bit better than the Rangers with Justin Verlander and Framber Valdez and Christian Javier and Jose Urquidy and some young guys like J.P. France and Hunter Brown and the bullpen they have. Texas' bullpen is terrible, but they have some very solid starting pitchers. And you got Nathan Yavaldi, Jordan Montgomery. Um, obviously, you got Matt Scherzer and John Gray, but those two guys are injured. A couple other solid starting pitchers on the roster for Texas. Um, they got some solid starting pitchers as well. This is a great matchup, and it makes it even better that the, both of these teams are from Texas. This is the Texas showdown. This is the Battle of Texas. 
And now we're going to go game by game predictions. All right. Uh, the Astros taking on their part of this series. I have the Astros winning game one and game two in Houston. Texas is dealing with Fraber Valdez and Justin Verlander. I think that will be too much for them to deal with. Um, yeah, game three. I want to go with the Astros taking the 3 0 lead, but Texas going back at home. Um, Texas is going to Texas's fans are going to be very harsh to Astro the Astros players and the Astros fans. Um, it's going to be ugly. And Christian Javier pitched very good in his performance in his game three start against the uh, Minnesota Twins. You would expect him to be the game three starter. Um, and I want to say the Astros are going to be able to. You know, I, I want to say the Astros are going to be able to take the three zero lead, but I just believe with. You know, Texas being out 2-0, their season's basically over. Sorry, being down 0-2. Their season's basically over if they lose. I see it being a very low-scoring game, like a 3-2 game, 2-1 game, and Texas winning it um, in a very low-scoring game. And the Astros are now only up 2-1. But um, I see the Astros then winning Game 4. Uh, with Jose Arquiti on the mound, who was very good in Game 4 against the Minnesota Twins. I think he has another good outing in the playoffs. He should be the starter for the Astros in Game 4. And I believe he has a good outing. And the Astros win it in Game 4. And now take a 3-1 lead. And the Astros would be one win away from their third straight World Series. But are they, are they able to finish this series off in Texas. Oh, well, you know, they'll finish it off in Texas, whether it's in Arlington or whether it's Houston. It doesn't matter. They're going to finish it off in Texas somehow. Um, but um, which Texas will it be? Will it be in their stadium or our stadium? Will it be in Arlington or Houston? I don't know. I think it depends who's starting game five because um, game five would be Thursday. Um, Justin Verlander would start Sunday. Is that enough rest for Justin Verlander to start game five? Or would the Astros want Justin Verlander to start in a game six? Ultimately, I think the Astros probably go with either, um, I, I probably think the Astros go with a game five bullpen day. Um, I think game five is probably JP France on the mound and then Hunter Brown comes in and then some other pitchers come in. That's not really a, it's a bullpen day because those guys are not really starters in the postseason. These guys, JP France and Hunter Brown were starters for the Astros in the regular season. I probably say they start for the Astros. Um, I, I say JP France is probably the starter game five. Um, and, J and then you see Hunter Brown come into the mix. You probably see a couple, a reliever, another reliever or two come in the mix for the Astros as well. And I go, I got, I go with Texas game five, and the Astros now only have a one game lead again, and it's 3 2. Then game six, you're back in Houston, and you got Justin Verlander on the mound. Do we go to game seven? No, I think Justin Verlander closes this thing out, and the Astros go to their third straight World Series. But to who to face on? Uh, Phillies, Diamondbacks, let's get into it. Do we see a rematch between the Astros or the Phillies? Or do we see the Diamondbacks make it to their first World Series since, I think, 2007? Um, let's get into it. Um, now, I want to tell everybody something funny, which would be crazy if this happened. So last year, the World Series was, World Series was the Astros and the Phillies, of course. But I don't know if anybody knew this, but the Astros' last series of the 2022 season was against the Philadelphia Phillies. Who was the Astros' last series of the 2023 season? The Arizona Diamondbacks. So what if history repeated itself again? The Astros played the Phillies in the last series of their season last year, played them in the World Series this year. Last series of the regular season was the Arizona Diamondbacks. Does that happen? Do you see history repeat itself in the Astros face the Diamondbacks? Which, honestly, the Diamondbacks team reminds me a lot of the Washington Nationals teams, that the, the Washington Nationals team that the Astros faced in the World Series and lost to in uh, 2019. I think the Diamondbacks are going to be a more successful version of the Nationals because after that World Series run, they just kind of fell off. Um, so do we see history repeat itself or do we see a World Series rematch from 2022? Game by game predictions. Game one, game two. I have Philadelphia winning both games in Philadelphia. So now it's 2 0. But with pressure on the line, Arizona back at home. I see that Arizona crowd being hyped up. I got Arizona winning both games. 
both games in um or well there's another there's a third game in Arizona um but I have Arizona winning the first two games in Arizona now the series is tied up at two um so now series is tied up again it's 2-2 game five um and you know you're gonna need a big win if you're Philadelphia it's in Arizona uh, after this game you go back home I see a big game from Bryce Harper and Philadelphia wins it, and it is uh, now a 3-2 lead for Philadelphia, and they need one more win to go back to the World Series. But will they get that win? At least not in Game 6. I got the Diamondbacks winning Game 6 uh, in a close game. I mean, it's an afternoon game. That game starts at 4-7. I think the Diamondbacks strike early, and the Diamondbacks send it to Game 7. This I want to go with the Diamondbacks, but at home, I already gave Philadelphia one loss at home in the postseason. I'm not giving them another. Phillies win it in Game 7, and they move on to the World Series. Astros and Phillies in the World Series again. And ultimately, I'm not going to go against the Astros because I'm an Astros fan. I have this feeling that the Phillies would probably win the World Series if they rematch against the Astros. Uh, they're a little bit stronger this year, adding in Trey Turner. Um and some other pieces, but ultimately, I'd probably go with the Astros to win back-to-back World Series, but um, yeah, these are your thoughts on my predictions for the championship series with the AL and the NL. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.